In today's readings, we hear the desperate pleas of Jeremiah. He's struggling with the position that God has placed him in. All around, he hears the rumors, the innuendo, the jokes. God has told him to speak a message of repentance, a return to that personal relationship that God desires of all of us. Yet the people of Judah don't like somebody getting up in their business. They're pushing back in a way that they know best, using his own words against him, trying to trip him up, much like the Pharisees are going to try to do later with Jesus, healing on the Sabbath, taxes. In desperation, Jeremiah is, Lord, you got me into this, now get me out. Finally, putting his faith in God, trusting God to show him the way, he says, the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior, so my persecutors will stumble and not prevail. I struggled with this assignment because I've had my own times of desperation my own turning my back to God to do it my way. We continue to be that stubborn and rebellious people that Moses led out of Egypt. It's a harder path to follow alone. The message from Jeremiah of his struggles with himself, his ministry, and with those to whom he is sent to minister is clear. He alone could do little, but he, with trust and faith that God is with him, he could do it all. As we read in Matthew, and surely I am with you always to the very end of age. I know that God is with me, that the trials and joys that I experience are like the smelter's fire, preparing me, strengthening me for the reward of an eternity with my Father. Vivat Coriezu, live the heart of Jesus.